Welcome back everyone, welcome to the next tutorial on single engine taxi out or seto. Uh, we joined the aeroplane, we've just been pushed back and the parking brake has been set and we are cleared to start number two engine. So at this point the captain would direct the right hand seat start number two engine. Firstly to configure the packs to allow all the uh, APU air for start. So left and right pack switch to off number two start switch to ground looking for N2 rotation engine start valve open twenty five percent N2 captain moves the start lever to idle detent looking for light up and fuel flow Fifty six per cent is fifty five, fifty six per cent switch flicks to off. So successful engine start, the right hand seat scan changes. So right hand seat seto before taxi procedure, generator number two switch on, probe heat switches on. Wing anti-ice off, number two engine anti-ice switch as required. Right pack switch auto. Isolation valve closed. Left pack remains in off. Engine number two start switch to continuous. Captain checks engine number two start lever idle detent. Right hand seat places their hand on the flap lever. Captain calls in this case flaps 5. Right hand seat confirms flaps 5. It says flaps 5 confirmed. Sets flaps to 5. Once the ground equipment's clear, flight controls check from the captain, full and free. Then captain holds the tiller and a full rudder check in both directions. FO sets the transponder and then the recall is checked. We're expecting three lights. Press recall, all six lights on both sides illuminate once you let go. So we've got LEC on the left hand side, hydraulic and air conditioning on the right hand side. That's to be expected. They are associated with air conditioning for dual bleed because we've got the two bleeds for the engine and the APU at the moment. Hydraulic is for low pressure of engine number one, engine driven pump, and the drive light for the elect. So once only expected lights are illuminated, cancel the master caution. Captain calls Seto before taxi checklist. Once the before taxi checklist completed, or the Seto before taxi checklist completed, then permission to taxi, captain releases the parking brake, right hand seat, taxi light on, max seto N1 on the apron 45%. So just to demonstrate, so imagine that we're still moving. I'll obviously bring the airplane to a stop here so I can demonstrate, but this would normally then be accomplished whilst the airplane's taxiing. So whilst taxiing, captain directs the right hand seat to start number one engine and then the same procedure. So the first officer or right hand seat this time, move number one start switch to ground. Once again, waiting for 25% N2. With N1 rotation, this time right hand seat moves the engine start lever to idle detent. EGT light up and fuel flow. 
waiting for 56% N2 for start switch to click off. So once engine number one started, generator number one switch on, wing anti-ice and number one engine anti-ice as needed. Left pack switch auto, isolation valve switch auto, APU bleed air switch off, APU not required, so APU switch off, engine number one start switch to continuous. First officer this time checks engine number one start lever at idle detent and blanks the lower display and right hand seat. Once again, six lights expected on both sides, and once released, no lights expected. So once we have cabin secure, set O before takeoff checklist. Hope you've enjoyed the tutorial. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.